Hey guys, it's Caleb. Welcome back to my channel. So today I've got another unusual fruit to be sharing with you guys. This is a red kiwi fruit. This is the first time I've seen them or come across them and of course my first time tasting them as well. Basically, this is a variety of kiwi fruit that they've just started doing a trial of here in New Zealand. Um, but they are planning to commercialize these globally. So if you guys are one of my overseas viewers, don't worry, you guys may be able to get your hands on these in the next couple of years. All right, so I've got a soft kiwi fruit just here. Um, I have read that apparently they're quite good to eat soft, so I'm gonna give that a try. Um, and this is one that is a bit more firm, and this is generally how I would prefer to eat my kiwi fruit. So I'm gonna try both and see what's better. Let's get into cutting them open anyway and see, see what they look like. Oh well, it is quite red, particularly around like the seeds does look quite like a golden kiwi fruit. It, look, it has the really thin skin, quite a smooth skin as well. We'll see if this one looks any different. That one actually looks more red to me. So I'm gonna start with this softer one. Really, really soft. That's actually really nice, um, even though it's quite soft, it is really, really good. It's quite sweet like the uh, golden kiwi fruit, probably not as sweet. And I have heard these as being described as being similar to the golden ones, but have more like a berry twist or something. And I do see what they're talking about because it does actually taste a bit like raspberry or berry. Cool, all right, so we're gonna try this more firmer one and see what that one's like. You can definitely taste that sort of berry flavor in the background. That one's just as nice but when you eat this one it's just easier when it's softer to scoop out so either way I think it's pretty good to eat. Alright guys so I'm going to have a go at growing these from seed. I've done this before with kiwi fruit but I'm keen to have another go at it and actually get to a point where I grow them into some large plants that hopefully actually produce some fruit. Now there is just a couple of things to mention about growing kiwi fruit from seed that you guys might need to know if you guys want to try it. Um, basically, if you do grow them, make sure you don't just grow like one or two plants because these are actually dioecious, which means that uh, kiwi fruit vines need a male and a female vine in order to, um, you know, reproduce and then grow fruit. So you can't tell until they flower, which is like, you know, three, four years down the track. So if you only have a couple of plants and you get males, for example, you know, you're not going to get any fruit. So do grow quite a few of them. The other thing to note as well is that kiwi fruit don't always grow true to type. So if I get some of these seeds from the red kiwi fruit and plant them, it's not to say that I will get red kiwi fruit in the end. I may not. I may get some other variety that they were pollinated with, or they may revert to like the more wild kiwi fruit varieties. The reason I'm not too worried about that is that a lot of the wild varieties as well are, you know, quite palatable, really nice as well. So it's actually kind of almost more exciting to see what you're going to end up with. So I'm going to take some seeds out of them now. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the best way I find is just to use a sieve and you can just kind of scrape the seeds out into it. And this is just going to allow you to clean the seeds really well to get all the jelly off them. It's always good to use a fruit that's more ripe than one that's underripe because you're going to have a much better chance of it sprouting. I'm just taking seeds from quite a few different fruits just so I've got a bit more variety in the seeds. Now all I'm going to do is just grab some cold water and back of a spoon or something or just your hand, either works. Probably just your hand actually is better. And you can just get all the, the stuff off them, get them nice and clean. And just like that you've got heaps of seeds which are pretty much clean and ready to go. Just got some regular potting mix here and I'm just going to sow quite a few of them all in this one pot. Got my seeds here so I'll just get some of them and just kind of scatter them through. I ended up putting actually a lot of seeds in here but that's alright we'll just see what happens. I've got a lot of seeds so I may as well use them and then just put a bit of a layer of soil over the top, not too thick. I'm just 
putting it in the greenhouse as we're getting a bit deeper into autumn and I'm just going to place this lid over the top just to help it keep the moisture in and keep the warmth in and hopefully it all goes well. Alright so check it out, as you can see there's a heap of little kiwi fruit plants in there, they're growing really well. They've started to slow down now because we've just hit winter and they're also very crowded so what I will be doing is um, just splitting them up a little bit very carefully and putting some in some other pots. Um, that way they can continue growing, although I don't expect them to put on a heap of growth until we hit springs. I'll definitely keep you guys updated with how these are going, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe below if you haven't already. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below as well. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.